This is a lag bolt, hex head. This is for going into studs and hanging heavy stuff. Like say if you had a uh, TV you wanted to hang on a wall, that's what you would use. This next one is an exterior wood screw. Very aggressive thread. You don't need to pre-drill. Very strong saber drive or star drive is what they call it. Next, we have a typical wood screw. These come in a variety of lengths, you know, an inch to three inches or more. Flat head, and that's for holding wood together. These are machine screws. We're not talking about machine screws, but if you see anything with fine threads, no point. Those are machine screws, and they usually have a nut on the end. That's for holding parts together. But today, we're mostly talking about screws for wood. These other two here are sheet metal screws. Slightly different thread. It goes all the way to the head. This one has a pan head which is a little more typical for a sheet metal screw. These are for holding pieces of sheet metal together or uh, to a uh, metal stud. Sometimes people use them for wood and it's okay. They work uh, but it's not exactly correct. These black ones here are drywall screws. They are basically for holding drywall to a stud. They're not real strong screws because, yeah, they just hold drywall up. People do use them for, you know, wood screws and they work, but it's not really the correct screw for, you know, for a wood fastener. Better off with a wood screw. So for your lag bolt and your wood screw, you really need to pre-drill and what you need is a drill that is the same diameter as the inner part of the screw. So you want the threads, you know, poking out. So that way when you drill the hole, there is some meat that the threads can grab into. If the hole is too big, the screw won't hold. If the hole is too small, it'll be much harder to screw into the wood. And for wood screws, ultimately what you want to get is a countersink like this, pointy on one end. It not only gives you a pre-drill, it also countersinks it for your flathead screw. So your screw head will be flush. With our drill, we'll drill a hole with the drill we selected for our lag bolt. And we will use a socket on the impact driver to drive the uh, bolt into a 2x4. It's called a star or saber bit, and they usually give you a bit with, when you buy the screws. We don't really need to pre-drill it because it kind of drills its own hole when you drive that in. This is a cutaway of drywall, sheetrock, and a 2x4, and a magnetic stud finder so you can find the, the studs. And what the magnetic stud finder does is it finds the drywall heads, screw heads, that are usually under mud or joint compound, and then you can determine where your studs are. Once you find one, the studs are 16 inches apart, you can find the rest of them. And when you're hanging something heavy, this is important to get your screw into a stud. And that's very strong. That is not going anywhere. You could hang something very heavy on that. These exterior wood screws are ideal as well for going into studs. They're very strong and they don't need to be pre-drilled because they pretty much drill their own hole as they go in. Also, they're great for holding like a cleat to a wall on which you might hang something else, even something as heavy as a, as a cabinet or a bookshelf or something like that. Fastening two pieces of wood together is just a corner butt joint. You know, we use our countersink and make sure the edges are flush. You drill a hole and, and screw it in. And it, the countersink, you know, gives you a pilot hole and uh, a countersink. So your screw head is flush with the surface.
That's about all for screws for now. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I think I've covered quite a bit. With these tips, I think you can do quite well. Tune in for more tips on building cool stuff with Steve. Thank you.